is DMG? No, it's not. This is DMG. And today, we're gonna be making a drawer. Like shot glass all over again. And if I push this button, then all of a sudden... Okay, so we're making a drawer. And uh, this is going to be quite a, yeah, a process, so stay with me. Okay, so we're going to grab some popsicle sticks, lollipop sticks. And um, I'm measuring 10 centimeters and breaking it up into two and a half centimeter uh, iterations. Uh, oh, God, my language is failing me. Anyway, so yeah, two and a half centimeters, which is approximately one inch. So hopefully you have lollipop sticks that are long enough to do that. Otherwise, just make it from several. So once you've cut those out, hot glue down one long side and stick two of them together. And basically, uh, you just want to clean off the hot glue once it has cooled enough, but is not yet cured. And then you do the same with the second piece. And then with the third piece, you are then going to stick that onto the outside edge of um, the one long side. So not on top, on the outside edge. Then on the other side, you're going to put it on top, vertically perpendicular to the base. So again, I'll show you now here close up after you clean off all the glue. Um, you can see this side is on top and the other side is on the edge. Okay, so now we're going to put it on its side and we're going to measure the sides on a popsicle stick because we're going to cut those off so that we can form the sides of the drawer. So you just lop off the curly bits and then cut out the lengths that you need. Now I haven't specified the length because popsicle sticks are different widths. So you'll have to uh, get your own width there. So then we want this to be flush to the shorter side. So um, not the longer side, the shorter side. So hot glue um, on the edges and then place the uh, popsicle sticks of the sides down on the exterior, on the outside of the drawer. And remember, we're flush to the top of the short side, not the long side. This will all make sense later on. So you can clean off the glue with the finger again once it has cooled a little bit. So there you go, you've got one long side sticking out. And uh, now we're going to uh, measure one popsicle stick width in plus the drawer. So on a popsicle stick, one popsicle stick width in plus the drawer, and then another popsicle stick width on top of that. So this is going to be forming the base and the top of the actual drawers. And uh, just, we're gonna make four of these. So you just want to replicate those out. So you just um, continue on with a whole bunch of popsicle sticks. And remember to leave the space on two sides so that you don't have a situation where you've uh, made it too short. So it's always measure twice, cut once. So we need four of these to cut them out and then we're going to get a matchstick and we're going to measure the same length with the matchstick and uh, we're going to do that with two matchsticks and uh, just measure those inside edges as well just so that they line up and we'll grab another matchstick and do the same thing and measuring the inside as well and just lop off the edges. Then we're going to grab um, one of the uh, things we've made for the top piece sorry, the base of the drawer and um, stick down the popsicle stick. And then we're going to stick the match stick to the other side. All right, so the reason we stick the match stick on there is we want to extend the length of this. So um, it, the match stick is great because it helps you to extend that length. Um, and if you need more length, you just add more popsicle sticks, but you'll see why in a moment. So we've done the second one now. One is the base, one is the top. And uh, so now that we've got the two, we're going to grab the drawer and just make sure that it's uh, everything's aligned there. And now we're going to get the back piece. So uh, measure it out, um, aligned with the um, base, and uh, cut it out and stick it on top of the base, not on the side. So that's on top of the base, okay. Now you'll see the drawer goes there, but the drawer is overhanging the other side. So we need to add an extra matchstick, and this is where the matchsticks become handy. 
Um, now the reason we didn't put it on the other side because if you had the vertical on top of the matchstick it would just be a weaker so that's why we're just adding more sticks uh, more matchsticks on the what will be the open side of the um, the draw case then we're going to measure measure the side so you want to measure the inside sides um, so that um, it goes flush to the open side of the chest of the draw case and then a line of hot glue down the backing and along the base and stick it in so you can see that that's flush with the open side and flush with the back plate as well so again the other side cut out the same way and there we go and so here we have the base and the drawer as you can see here will fit in with the um, side that sticks up on the at the back so now a blob of hot glue on each edge of on top of the open side of the case and put down a matchstick so once that is cured well before it cures you just want to clear out any glue that's on in the opening there so that uh, when you do this with the drawer so the drawer slide in the long edge just sort of pop it underneath and then twist it so that it pops in and here you now have um, the drawer so it's better to do that while the top matchstick is still curing um, so that if it does give you any kind of leeway or so, it does give you a move the matchstick or something you can just push it back into place so there you can see that long piece is stopping it is being stopped by the matchstick so we now have the drawer which will be very difficult to pull out unless you twist it out so then we just lop off the um, extra matchstick now we're going to just do the top sides and um, again the line of hot glue drop down a matchstick and do this on both sides uh, hot glue down put down a matchstick and allow it to cure and lop off the excess so now we just have the piece at the back so you're just going to grab a matchstick or an off cut or something measure what you need so that it will be flush to both sides at the top again lay down hot glue and drop in the matchstick and wait for it to cure so at this point you've now got the drawer and you can actually now from this step create another one exactly with what we've just shown you this whole procedure and you can stick it on top to make another level of drawers so if you want to make a chest of drawers with two or three levels just repeat this entire process up to here and then put the top on once you've done your two or three layers so I'm just doing the one um, so you can just see what a single drawer is and now we're just going to run hot glue along the front and the sides on top and place down the top plate with the matchstick edge towards the back so as you can see there, there's a matchstick edge towards the back but there's obviously a space left so again put down some hot glue place a matchstick there and that fills in that gap then after you've lopped off that just put a line of hot glue on the front of the drawer and drop on a an off cut or a piece or an ornament or something you like just the handle for the drawer and I like to just go over that once it's cured with a little bit more hot glue just to fasten it a little bit better because you're going to be pulling this in and out um, and uh, it's going to uh, you know going to need that so there we go the drawers in and you just pull it out so that's nice and easy so then we're going to uh, go a little bit different to normal painting technique I'm going to grab some ink now you can just use all the painting techniques that I've shown you doing wooden doors and things like that with this this is just an alternative this is essentially an ink wash um, so we add a little bit of water to the ink and uh, then I'm just going to um, brush over the entire piece with that brown ink and uh, you can do this numerous times if you want I'm just going to activate boot of speed boots of speed and away we go and then you can just add some ink neat if you wish without watering it down um, to get variations in the brown and uh, this really makes it look pretty cool so there you have it a nice drawer or you can make a chest of drawers multiple levels and of course it's fully operational well that's how I make a drawer so if you liked this video please subscribe to this channel so you can see future videos and click the like button you can also check out my website thedmg.info where you'll find a store where you can financially support this channel by buying products from as little as 99 US cents 
I also have a Facebook page, Twitter account, Google Plus page, and there's a showcase of crafters at the end of this video. Go for that craft.